Carbon nanotubes are carbon atoms that are arranged in a certain way, which will give this new material very particular properties, such as the capacity to conduct electricity or mechanical strengthening in composites. Carbon nanotubes are exceedingly small, 10,000 times thinner than a human hair, but they have massive potential. Mix them into polymers, resins or water and off you go. We blend this carbon nanotube powder with plastic to form these granules. Then, by spinning it out, we turn it into textiles. These jackets work as sensors, so, for example, for temperature or as gas sensors. Also, we use them for mechanical strength in a bike wheel. We can make fuel pumps out of it. Another application, a lot larger, is this barrel, which replaces metal barrels. It's a plastic barrel that can conduct electricity. Nanosil has been a partner in several European Union initiatives to develop nanotechnology. The Belgian firm is now starting to commercialize one research project result, a fabric that conducts electricity that would be integrated into buildings in earthquake-prone areas. If I show you this demonstrator, here we have a textile in which you can see these black fibers which are filled with carbon nanotubes. Simply flexing the post here, the movement which could be linked to a fracture is transformed into a signal which is then detected by the operator. Nanotechnology is shaking up the world of manufacturing, but that doesn't mean it's easy to break into new markets. The biggest challenge is that industry in general is very conservative, and so moving from the semi-industrial lab level to the industrial level takes a lot of time and a lot of investment. You're looking at an investment in the order of 20 to 50 million euros to really take a new material from laboratory stage to industrial level.